Welcome to the brand new video, in this video, we will discuss about Marshall, which you people generally don't know. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications, so you can keep up to date with all our latest content. The Marshall Islands is officially called the Republic of the Marshall Islands. It is located in the Central Pacific Ocean, part of the larger island group known as Micronesia. The Marshall Islands consists of 29 atolls and 5 isolated islands. The capital city is Majuro, located on the Majuro Atoll. The country has a population of about 60,000 people. The official languages are Marshallese and English. The Marshallese language belongs to the Micronesian branch of the Austronesian languages. The currency used is the United States dollar. The Marshall Islands is part of the Compact of Free Association with the United States. The country spans an area of over 2 million square kilometers, but the land area is only about 181 square kilometers. The Marshall Islands have been inhabited for thousands of years by Micronesian people. The islands were first sighted by European explorers in the 16th century. The islands were named after British explorer John Marshall, who visited them in 1788. In the late 19th century, the Marshall Islands were claimed by Germany. After World War I, the League of Nations placed the islands under Japanese control. During World War II, the Marshall Islands were captured by the United States in 1944. After the war, the islands became part of the United Nations Trust Territory of the Pacific Islands, administered by the United States. Between 1946 and 1958, the U.S. conducted nuclear testing at Bikini and Eniwetok Atolls. The nuclear tests caused significant environmental damage and displacement of local populations. In 1986, the Marshall Islands gained independence through the Compact of Free Association with the United States. The Marshall Islands is a presidential republic. The president serves as both the head of state and head of government. The parliament, known as the Nitigela, is unicameral and consists of 33 members. The current president, as of 2024, is David Kabua. The Marshall Islands follows a mixed legal system of U.S. and English common law, as well as customary law. The Nitigela members are elected for four-year terms. The Council of Iroi holds advisory power and influences the government on matters related to culture and traditions. The country maintains a close relationship with the United States through the Compact of Free Association. The Marshall Islands is a member of the United Nations, the Pacific Islands Forum, and other international organizations. The Marshall Islands ratified the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons in 2017. The majority of the population lives on the atolls of Majuro and Kwajalein. Marshallese people are of Micronesian descent. Christianity is the predominant religion, with most people being Protestant, especially from the United Church of Christ. The population is youthful, with a median age of around 22 years. The total fertility rate is high, with an average of 3.5 children per woman. Life expectancy is approximately 65 years for men and 70 years for women. There are growing Marshallese communities abroad, particularly in the United States, due to the Compact of Free Association. Marshallese families tend to be large, and extended family connections play an essential role in society. Traditional Marshallese society is matrilineal, with inheritance passing through the mother's line. The traditional leadership structure, with IROI, continues to influence social and political life. The economy of the Marshall Islands relies heavily on aid from the United States. Fishing, especially tuna fishing, is one of the main economic activities. The country issues fishing licenses to foreign fishing vessels, generating significant revenue. Agriculture is limited due to poor soil, with copra being the primary export product. The country is highly dependent on imports for most goods, including food and fuel. The U.S. provides financial assistance through the Compact of Free Association, which supports education, health care, and infrastructure. The Marshall Islands has a large ship registry, with vessels from all over the world registered under its flag. The country is developing its tourism industry, though it remains small due to its remote location. The Kwajalein Atoll hosts a U.S. military base, which is an important source of employment for locals. The unemployment rate is high, and many citizens rely on subsistence fishing and farming for their livelihoods. 
The Marshallese culture revolves around family, community, and respect for elders. Navigational skills and traditional seafaring were essential parts of Marshallese culture in the past. The Marshall Islands is known for its stick charts, which are traditional navigational maps made from sticks and shells. The custom of sharing food is significant in Marshallese society, symbolizing unity and solidarity. Canoe building and sailing are traditional skills passed down through generations. Dance and music play a key role in celebrations, with traditional chants known as Reboni. The Marshallese have a rich oral tradition, with storytelling being a way of passing down history and knowledge. Traditional Marshallese clothing is made from materials like pandanus leaves, though modern clothing is widely worn today. Sport is important, with basketball and volleyball being popular activities. The country celebrates Constitution Day on May 1, marking its first constitution in 1979. Bikini Atoll, despite its history of nuclear testing, is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The atolls offer some of the world's best diving spots, with wrecks from World War II and vibrant coral reefs. Majuro Atoll has beautiful lagoons and is a gateway to other islands in the Marshall Islands. The Alele Museum in Majuro preserves and exhibits the culture and history of the Marshallese people. Laura Beach, on the western side of Majuro, is a popular recreational area. Kwajalein Atoll is home to both a U.S. military base and some of the clearest lagoons in the Pacific. Likib Atoll has historical significance, with some well-preserved buildings from the German colonial period. The Marshall Islands has a tropical marine climate, with warm temperatures year-round. The country is highly vulnerable to rising sea levels due to its low-lying atolls. Droughts and typhoons are other natural hazards that threaten the islands. Coral reefs surrounding the islands support rich marine biodiversity. Many atolls have extensive coconut groves, and coconuts are a staple food source. Overfishing and climate change pose significant threats to the country's marine environment. The government has engaged in efforts to promote environmental sustainability, including mangrove planting to prevent coastal erosion. The Marshall Islands is a vocal advocate for global climate change action, given its vulnerability to rising seas. The country is a leader in nuclear disarmament advocacy due to the impact of U.S. nuclear testing. Education is compulsory for children aged 6 to 14, with a focus on improving literacy and access to schooling. The healthcare system faces challenges, including a lack of infrastructure and medical staff, but the U.S. provides assistance under the compact. The country has implemented renewable energy initiatives, including solar power, to reduce reliance on imported fuel. The government is focused on economic diversification to reduce dependence on foreign aid and develop local industries. If you like the video, we'll share it with your friends and family members on WhatsApp and Facebook wall. I encourage you to like this video too or did you know that you will meet your friends through the video till then.